3.15 in the afternoon, uh, Wednesday, September 7th, 2022, big mission motorcycle adventure, and I am up on the summit, summit of uh, Mount Washington, New Hampshire. I'm actually, I'm looking, uh, looking northbound on the Appalachian Trail right now. I saw a sign up there that said it was like 300 and some miles to uh, Mount Katahdin, and I hiked up uh, this very trail unless they've changed it. Uh, 30 years ago this year and also in September within you know I don't think it was today's date but uh, I'd say it was pretty close and I hiked up it uh, one day and uh, caught a ride back down and then uh, within the next day or two uh, uh, Mikey uh, my old buddy Mikey Stow from Dayton we caught a ride back up but we actually hitchhiked up it um, and then um, you know before you before the uh, the road starts down there Actually, we might even walk a, a few uh, yards beyond the uh, the pay station. I really don't remember. It's been so long ago, but there was somebody kind enough to give us a ride, even though they had just paid to come up it. They gave us a ride, and we uh, we came back. We came up here, and then we hiked south from here. That first day I came up here, though, it was completely socked in. It was late in the day by the time I made it up here. I was exhausted, I was wet, and a lot of the stuff up here was closed, and uh, I think if I had to hike off the mountain that evening, I probably would have been hiking in the dark, and it would have been treacherous, especially over terrain like this. Um, but uh, thank the Lord, you know, there was a shuttle up here, and I was able to catch a ride off the mountain. And, uh, you know, again, talk about how wiped out I was, you know, I was slack packing that day. I didn't have the full weight of my pack with me. and. Um, and it still just absolutely whoops me. And um, so, yeah, it was, it was one of, I believe, one of the hardest climbs on the whole AT. And also, that said, it was a gnarly ride. An old Zeke just now getting up here a little bit ago. And uh, it's going to be a fun, gnarly ride going back down as well. And I GoPro'd the whole thing. And actually, I just GoPro'd a video of this that uh, what I'm saying is pretty similar, really. And, uh, but that's all right. You know, the GoPro stuff won't be, uh, uh, you know, put on YouTube for, for a while still. So I just wanted to you know, do a uh, video journal up here as well and show this. But it's quite a place. The summit is just right up over the hill there. You can see the building there. It's just, uh, just beyond that. So it's, uh, you know, it's all to do with weather there, you know, weather station. There's a weather station over there and the big antenna. And uh, they do have some treacherous winds up here. Um, I believe it's something like the highest wind speeds on Earth have been recorded up here or outside of the polar region. Something like that. The guy down at the bottom uh, where I paid to come up here actually paid $25 to ride Zeke up here. To drive a vehicle, though, it's like 45 but it's money well spent, though. It again, it's just so worth it, and um, you know, it's so cool. But uh, that said, the guy down there told me that, um, uh, yeah, he'd. I think he said like 232 miles an hour or something, maybe is the highest uh, wind recorded up here. And he said actually, you know, experienced by humans. So you know, I guess you know, clearly there were folks up here in these uh, weather stations when they recorded it, and that is some some fast fast winds of course i mean it's it's hard to even comprehend winds like that um but uh, what a place and what a blessing to be here just certainly uh blessed to be as i always say and i am thankful to be uh up here on the side of mount washington with my old hall zeke he's he's parked down in the parking lot of course and uh it was fun getting him up here and like i said it'd be fun getting him down there's some folks standing up there, and uh, I'm going to go and shut it down and just hang out a bit more up here and look around some more.